And welcome back to another series of uh, XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man run of this beautiful mod. We are in South Africa for Operation God Slayer. Today we're going to recover an item from an Advent uh, vehicle. Pretty standard task, but we also got a pretty standard team. Gunner, a specialist, a ranger and a shinobi for scouting purposes. Uh, you can see that some of them have relatively low ranks, so it's gonna be a tough mission overall. Seven to nine enemies, however, I think we're going to be fine. We still got theoretically 19 more hours to infiltrate, but that will not bring us to 125%, which is the next breakpoint. And I don't want to invest 30 intel in order to get 21 intel, so we're launching right away and Hope for the best. Good, we just landed. Decently equipped squad. We have nine rounds and it's moderately far away from here. So we should be fine. We got a teamwork ability between our shinobi and our, uh, our ranger. So that's good. If we need an additional act action once in a while. Ooh. And I can see that there is kind of a chasm here which we need to get over. Hmm. That makes the things a bit more difficult. On my way. They're on to us. Unfortunately, we are spotted out. Not what I would have expected. But I think we can deal with it. First things first, though. Um, we need to deal with a mech. We can shut it down, that would be awesome. If not... I'm not 100% sure why we can't just like move... S how about... Are you kidding me? So you're telling me everyone else? So this here's... <laughs> There's a bug in here. Look at that, guys. You can't move across the street. Which means you gotta move around that tile here, which apparently seems to be... Yeah. Somehow impenetrable. Absolutely. We're doing exactly that. Unfortunately, the armor is indeed a bit tough. Confirmed. Let's double move into full cover. I don't want to take any chances here. And since we're being spotted out, well, let's double check the heck real quick. Gain control of all robotic enemies. Well, that is great. But we don't want to take a 9% chance. It's not gonna fly. We are, however, taking an aid protocol over here. We've spread far enough so that we're that we're not going to receive um, rockets, hopefully. But I'm pretty sure the mech will jump up and take a shot at us. The Holy Warrior here is a chance for us. If we kill the priest, we 
might be able to also kill the the soldier. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we could haywire, but I think that that's not gonna work. Instead, let's body shield and kill the mech. There we go, next down. Target neutralized. We are moving into half cover here. Not a problem. And that might as well be a kill right away. Nice little flanking shot out. However, unfortunately, not enough damage. We have nothing to fear. All right, let's make sure that we kill this guy. Very nice. That's a two for one right there. And taking some loot on top of it. Advanced outloader is good. We continue to have the high ground over here. And we're moderately injured. Pretty sure this is not going to trigger another pack. Because there are no line of sights that we haven't seen yet. So we'll get the hair trigger and move on. So far so good. We have seven to nine enemies. That was the first pack. Pretty rough start. Back online. We can't go back into cover and we need to make our way over here. So. I'm almost considering that we're taking the low way around here. I mean, a lot of our moves now need to be pretty, pretty careful. I know there's definitely another pack um, almost waiting here, which again means I would much rather like to put everyone in position first. Okay. Without triggering anything. Double move. And very careful advancement. Okay. Although that took another turn, basically to get our shit together, I much rather would like to overwatch them and let them essentially run into us instead of triggering them. And yeah, you can already see there's another pack, by the way. So our question will be, are we willing to trigger the three snakes, right? On my way. Only the best. 
And a part of the problem is if we're moving in, that might as well trigger all of the snakes. Good. We're we're okay, I think. If we're going close, uh, if we would be getting closer, we're definitely triggering them. So instead, Overwatch. Eight protocol. Just in case. And Overwatch, and we know that the last pack is three snakes, right? It seems as if they haven't moved. Five turns. It's, by the way, a perfect opportunity for us to start the evac. Good. We know they are up here. We do not have Blade Master. <laughs> that would be the perfect pull. Moving up there and Blade Mastering the living hell out of them. That would be such a sick play. Okay, the next question is... Do we want to move up so that we can flank them? Again, a bit of a difficult decision. I mean, we totally know that they are here. One, two, three. Fortunately, we still don't have Bladestorm. That would be such a good pull. Hmm. The two downstairs are hidden. Might as well start by moving closer. This will pull the pack, but they only see the soldier, which means their adjustment and how they are going to position is just based on this knowledge. As you can see, some of them have taken weird positions. Yeah, we can move over here. It's only half cover, but we're going to flank, and that is more important. Worst potential outcome, just a grazing shot. Let's try to focus on one of them. Lots of grazing shots here. This would be a 100% takedown. <clears throat> of 
question is if we were to area suppress yeah we will probably not hit anyone hmm The alternative is going in and killing this uh, uh, and killing this viper. Let's try that. We do have a flashbang. Oh, worst outcome. All right, flashbang could hit both of them. Seven to nine. Uh, hit chances are good. I don't know why that Viper here, by the way, takes less damage than that Viper. Doesn't really make any sense. <clears throat> Getting into full cover, playing it safe. So far, so good. Good, let's see. We can definitely take out the Viper that overwatches. We could area suppress, so that'll be an option. We gotta get closer to the container. Softening up the Viper. Oh, yeah. And this here should be another kill, and then we can suppress. Two Alarium Course, that's pretty dope loot. All right, reload and suppression. Cannot use its special abilities. Ah, I forgot about the Shadow Step. Oh, damn. Let's hit the, vi uh, the Viper. It's one shot. And let's hopefully kill it. Okay, 
All right, so we got a free reload. Let's make sure we're stabilizing the Shinobi. I wasn't expecting the Shadow uh, Step, to be honest. That's totally on me for forgetting that. The cavalry's here. One more round until... Phew. Gotta finish the mission first. We still have one more turn, which means revival protocol this turn. Getting the Shinobi back up, so we have another Overwatch. We're moving up here to get some more loot. We already got two. Alarium course, so that's number three. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. <sighs> well, the reinforcements coming in. That's a problem. I mean, if we're posi positioning ourselves over here, we might be the sole person on the other side. We don't want that to happen. Over here is also not a good idea. On it. Two further Larium cores. We're at a hundred supplies just through this single mission. Which is incredibly valuable. We got an overwatch. We got another overwatch. That's the best we can do. Let's see what the reinforcements are going to look like. Captain and the shield bearer. Okay. Good. Uh, what would I want to have? I think we're taking alien alloys. Seems to be the dream mission. We get it all. Massive amounts of alien alloys. We haven't even triggered the enemies yet. Moving down here. And next turn. Rolling. We should be good to go. Just leaving uh, this uh, the scene of the crime. Come get some. Reloaded. Coming to Overwatch. We haven't triggered the reinforcements, which means no brand. fight is going to um, to pick up. And we're sneaking ourselves out of here. Everything just seemed to work out so well. 
Well, with the exception of uh, the Shadowbound, so uh, overseeing that and letting this, uh, the Viper essentially take a shot on us into into no cover whatsoever, uh, that was a bit of a mistake. And time for us to land. Morale is sure to be high after an operation like that. Great yeah, we deserve the ten days of of being knocked out. We could have used Blade Storm. I like the extra flashbang to be honest. It goes nicely with the kit and doesn't take any mobility away. So I think we're going to go with that. Good. <laughs> Holy moly, we got five Valerium cores, a PCS, advanced loader, scope hair trigger. Facility leads are good. And alien alloys. Plus, we got a new engineer, and I think we want to speed up the time down here. Once that's done, we can build the next uh, power relay, free up the engineers here. So that's not a, a bad idea. Let's just double check. No, we do not need to do anything here. Proving grounds. Something that I am neglecting way too much. I am still tempted to go for the Hunter's X and the Shadow Keeper. Frostbomb is definitely also not bad. We can start to reverse engineer once. I mean, I could strip the. Um, the improvements from the weapons and we essentially re uh, reverse engineer might be not the worst idea it's 30 supplies and one Illyrium core which if you think about it uh, to be able to build scopes is definitely helpful same for expanded magazines something that I value a lot Yeah, basically those two would definitely make sense. Incinerary grenades would also make sense. Hmm. Yeah, difficult. We have too little time to get it all done. But I think we're going to start with the reverse engineering to get that little bit of an edge um, to produce enough weapon upgrades. Good. In the meantime, we're almost done with the last two missions that we're infiltrating. Well, Keystone here. The other mission still needs some more time. Oh, and that is good. <clears throat> That's probably another sink for our supplies. We can now build uh, the sniper rifles as well as the uh, heavy weapon uh, guns so oh and and the shotgun we shouldn't forget about that so well, that's the sniper rifle that's the mag cannon
I mean, we could go with the inspired. That'll take a. Uh, that'll allow us to really quickly help there. I like the mobile armor for the snipers. That'll be an option as well. I'm even willing to invest eight days into it. Hilarium certainly is an option. We don't yet need to do the facility lead. I think we're okay on the intel, but I mean, Inspired essentially gives you free research and why would you not do that? So let's get some more intel and afterwards <clears throat> we're researching the mobile armor because we can really use that. In terms of Hello, Commander. purchasing items, where do we stand? We're short on Alien Lois, but we can buy some. We haven't done that in a while. Mm. Two mech cannons would probably be a good idea. Two rifles, so that's 80, 160. Two mech pist pistols, that's 180. Yeah, or 270 if we're buying three of each. I think we're starting with two each. Yeah, and that is the shotgun. So we're looking at 220. Let me get the necessary funds from the black market. Whoops. It's been slow going, but I've made headway interfacing our equipment with the alien technology still embedded throughout. I like the Ilarium course and we just got so many. I think we need a bit of a weapon upgrade. <clears throat> Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. So we're not going to sell any of uh, these, but one, two, three, four, five. Good enough. We're leaving the corpses for now. Again, they are a reserve in case we need a bit more later. We're okay on Intel. And that'll give us uh, the option to stock Commander. up some new weapons. Two mech cannons, two rifles, one more of uh, the shotguns and two mech pistols. <coughs> so we're getting there. Plus. We do have some more funds if we need them. One of the things in Long War that you need to be aware of is it's the, the whole strategy layer is basically also a monetary strategy game. You got to be really, really careful how to spend your money and how to deploy your resources so can we no we still can't recruit which is fine continuing with the supplies <clears throat> this region yields quite a few supplies for us which is great eight days smash and grab oh yeah why not Even more resources. Setting course for South Africa. And eight days uh, means we've done really, as always, a good job to scout out the missions in advance. It's not going to be a hard mission, so 
I'll probably not deploy the prime team. Let me get a team together. Perfect. I decided to go with a lighter team. Could have even uh, fitted more people in here, but there are two considerations why I wouldn't go with a bigger team, number one. I think with uh, cover removal, scouting, support and two DPS, grabbing four crates essentially is okay enough. Um, we're fighting against two to three packs, that's also pretty standard. And quite frankly, when we're only requiring five days to infiltrate, that means the squad is uh, faster in finishing the mission and getting to the next mission. So there is a timing component as well. I just didn't want eight or nine days for the infiltration, just to have 100% infiltration. And we have enough soldiers left over to essentially theoretically go for another mission. So continuing to build the radio relay here. Setting course for West Africa. We're still trying to expand. Um, by the way, it's going to be South America. That's going to be our next expansion. I want to use the, uh, the resistance contacts to get another region going. And there's already the next mission. We're going to go for another heck of the Advent um, workstation mission. Oh, nice, with uh, our skirmisher. I was looking forward to use of the skirmisher again. So that's going to be a fun mission. Uh, let's um, do that in our next episode. As always, if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys, uh, for sticking with me on this long run. Uh, we are about to uh, branch out to the next continent, which I'm excited about. Thank you so much, and have a great day. See you in the next mission. Bye-bye.